Okay. Well, why not? Just jump right into it. And give it a start. Okay. So, I've never played Minecraft before. Not a lot of games I've played, actually. So it's a first for me. Um, last night I was just basically fooling around uh i found that you could make your own server like i knew that but i thought you had to pay for it like the realms but apparently not so i just booted it up basically um i'm using what is it called i don't know i tweeted it uh, with build tools or whatever and plugged it in and it's all working so i've got that up i've um seeded up a large biome and it has a jungle and all that good stuff so i'm excited to try it out finally and all i've done so far is just like fly around looking at it and i'm really excited um to start building because i really like building um but yeah let's just change my category here And get it loaded up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so Wednesday was my first stream, really. Uh, which unfortunately didn't save it, so I have no... Nothing to show really on my channel, which is too bad. But we're going to create something new here. Let's... Start gameplay. There we go. And there is something I wanted to show first. Um, so it had snowed Christmas Day. Um, it's been snowing since. And last night it iced over everything. So this is what my town looks like currently. So if it lags or if the power goes out suddenly, you know why. It's DC Hydro, basically. <laughs> but let's get game capture up. There we are. Okay. I even made my little Minecraft person a good skin and it matches my sweater. So I thought that was funny. Okay, back to game. So this is my jungle biome. Super excited about it. Hello. Let's change. I'm looking at stuff. And go over. I found this as well. I think it's a netherite portal that's not finished. Oh. But I'm not there yet. So, and it's nighttime, unfortunately. So, but this looks really cool. I was hoping to get the one with a lot of like bamboo and stuff, but it's really pretty with all the lakes around it. I have no, I'm gonna, this is like my own server, right? So I have all the file codes. I'm gonna start programming because I've been, been so long since I've done Java or C++, but it was really easy to catch back on to just downloading all of this stuff and getting it running. So I have good hopes for how well I'll end up developing and doing plugins and all that stuff. I'll, it's definitely something I'm going to look into. But until then, I'm thinking of like pre-planning what I want done with the area like I definitely want to build 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 like a crazy amount and because this is a private server I whitelisted it so nobody can really join until I unless I you know ask them to join so I'm hoping do a bit you know talk to some other streamers maybe make some friends that'd be really fun and um 
get a whole bunch of people on here. Oh boy, look at all these trees. But yeah, um, I really wish it wasn't nighttime. Probably a code to change that, but I haven't looked at all the codes yet. But yeah, this is a large biome. I think it actually has like a lot of the major um, types in here. Because I know I passed a desert and I passed like whatever savanna, not savanna. Like Rockies or whatever areas, plateau areas, and forests and all that stuff. So I'm kind of, besides flying around, I haven't done anything else and I'm kind of nervous to. Like, should I start building? I don't know. Let's, let's give it a try because I haven't done anything. Oh no, I fell. Okay. I've turned off like um, monsters, but like it'll still generate animals and NPCs. So like right now I'm in creator mode, but well, obviously with the flying. Um, I don't even know where to start. See, this is what I was hoping to have like a kind of a pre-plan for what I wanted to build in here because I'm going to cover this whole world like with little towns and big builds small builds underground i don't know just i've seen other gamers just do some amazing thing things with this oh i kind of like this area anyway so i've seen some I've, I'm saying so a lot. I've seen a tutorial on how to get started. Oh, come on, son. There we go. I don't know why I have black strips on the back of my skin, but... Oh, didn't mean to fall. Oh, pumpkins! Cool. Okay. What do I have to do first? Trees, probably? Get some wood? I know I'm flying around, but I just kind of want to get to a normal tree. What? What is that? Grass block? No, I wanted, tr I wanted wood. I want wood. Give me the wood. Oh right, I'm in creative mode. Here, I'm stupid. Game mode. Survival. Like I'll definitely do creator mode when I do a lot of building, but I kind of want to just start off like learning what all of this is. Is this wood or is it like different types of wood? I don't even know. And hopefully my audio is okay. Come on. Um. Okay. I'm gonna collect. I know I need wood to make like shovel and an axe. I know there's a hoe and a sword. There's different levels of them. Oh look, cows. I see you. Just let me get some wood first, guys. Welcome to my server. Hello. I want to make friends with cows. I know you can. Um, or like with the animals in general, but I don't know how to yet. Nope, I need a sword, I forgot. I don't want to hit them. Okay. Nope, that's not what I needed to do. I 
jungle planks, jungle log. Not the same thing. Okay. Hmm. What do I need to do? I'm hoping. Can I just. Okay. If I'm gonna build anyway, I might as well. See? Look, desert. Some weird rocky red area. I don't have it loaded to view very far, but it'll load as it goes. Um. And there's some like massive, massive like tunnels and stuff that are around. I've saw some waterfalls, some icebergs. It I love I love this map. Like I I preloaded like two other ones, but I wasn't that happy with the the biome at first. Ooh, there's lava. Um, but let's go to some plane. And get some wood. To the forest. But I'm like, if I'm building anyway, I might as well be in creator mode. Should I try out try out survival mode first? I don't even know what I should do. Come on. Right, I'm in creator mode. That's still jungle log. Here, instead of flying all the way to find a forest, just, just give me some wood, guys. Where is it? Not that. Nope, that's too far. Nope, stop. How do I deselect? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay. And just punching around, punching some trees. I'm kind of sad that I'm destroying it, but. You know, you have to, you want to build. And I don't really know because I haven't played before. Get out of my way. Oh no, I am in too far. I must escape. Wait, I'm in creative mode. It really is pretty, wow. Oh, is that a town? No, it's just, oh. <gasps> No way! Already? I found it! Some pigs walking around. What is that? A golem or something? Oh, there are cats! There are cats. I need to find out how to friend animals quickly. I need cats in my life. What is this? A temple? Hello? And horses? This is a big village, my god. Here, I'm gonna... Get a better look at it. I'm gonna run around in it instead. Come on. And sheep. Do do do. Hi. Is it a bell? Oh, and a well. Hi. Oh, I did not mean to hit you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> How do I talk to people again? <laughs> he just hummed at me. Hi. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I, I want to pet it, but I don't want to hit it by accident. Hi. <laughs> 
Oh, hi. Uh, I, I kind of saved some instructions on how to react to ow I am able to react to the react to this but um right click villagers to talk to them dude come back I'm sorry come here you weirdo maybe I have to change the game mode anyway I, I know it's survival mode but like it doesn't actually have any survival aspects because well it does have fight but i turned off the i'm pretty sure i already said this turned off the enemy and i did get some practice with my keyboard no just i just want to say hi oh my god he doesn't want to talk to me um oh hello what do you want rotten flesh ew um redstone dust or for redstone dust i see I'm not gonna do that. But let's check out your little houses. You got anything in here? How do I open? <gasps> That's easier than I thought. Okay. Hello. Um. But yeah, no, I got on Wednesday. I was playing Death Door. I'm probably gonna pick it back up at another time, just because it seems like it's too hard of a game to begin with, to begin streaming with. Or even playing in general, because I haven't played any games. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, it's a chest. <gasps> yes. How do I take it? Okay, shift, I think. And potatoes. Not over there. Let's... Oh, dude. I'm sorry, I'm stealing your stuff. Wait, over here. Nothing. Dude. Okay, do they always make these humming noises? How do I collect this? I want to pick it up. Oh, there's a hole there. Okay. Wow. I am so looking forward to... Oh, it goes up higher. Nope. Go climb and then jump. Let's get a better, better look what I'm looking at. Okay, I think I've finished this part of the part of this the town. I'm gonna go to the other side. Just go down. Thank you. And exit. Wait, where was the other side of the town? <laughs> it's already gonna be nighttime, but there's no enemies, so I'm not gonna bother going to sleep. Hi, cat! I just want to say hi. Meow, come here. I'm. I know I have to walk slowly. I've seen some people play. Come here. I don't have anything. I don't have any meat or anything anyway to befriend it, so I'm not gonna bother. Oh wait, food. Look at this. It'll replant, right? Can I take it? And I'm stealing. I'm stealing. Stealing. That's okay. Dude, farmer dude, I like your hat. Um, I'm not gonna give you an emerald for six pieces of bread. But wheat, I only have. Oh, I have a carrot. <gasps> I'm gonna go back. Is there anything else? else going there
Yeah. I'm getting better at it, I think. Like the... I was struggling a lot the other day. I don't know if it's because of the difficulty of um, Death Store, just because I haven't played games before, or what? If I just, I actually watching back on it, it was there's a lot of obvious things. So hopefully I'm not going to be doing the same thing with Minecraft, where the obvious is standing me staring me right in the face and. It looks bad, you know? Oh, hi. Anyway, I'm gonna turn on Minecraft music. I know I turned it off. doesn't seem like it's playing anything. That's why I turned it off at first. But maybe I just need some time. Hi horse, can I pet you? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I just want to be your friend first before I sit on your back. I feel like it's kind of rude. Anyway, that's for another day. Let's save that for when I actually know how the hell to play this game. Pumpkins, more cows. Looks like another temple. This is some long ass grass. Okay. Hello. Anyone home? Same kind of idea. Oh, my head is just... There we go. Are there baby horses? Or are they just different colors? I don't know, but they're really cute. I'm really enjoying. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna heal from you. While you sleep right there next to me. Not next to me. He looks as he doesn't look asleep. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. And I don't know how entertaining this will be with, you know, enemies off so I might have to I might end up turning them back on All right open that oh there's two of them and there's an upstairs um excuse me I'm sorry no what is why is there so many of them why is there two in each bed questions that don't need answers really I'm going just i'm just gonna leave i'm sorry for interrupting oh that's pretty it's a fountain i love it okay we i don't know where i just was one more nope oh, okay there's so many villagers i'm it makes sense with the amount of houses but i feel like there's more villagers then there are beds maybe that's why they're doubling up it's a nice house what is this what is that <gasps> i found a crafting table oh it's a cartography table actually i thought it said crafting cool i think i'm gonna take that with me Mm hmm Hello. Um, I want to move some of this stuff. Okay. No, I want to take it with me. If I break it, does it... Can I keep it? There's so many rules to this... Oh. Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't get to keep it. There's so many rules to this place, and I don't know what they are. Wait, is there a bed in there? There wasn't a bed in there. I figured I could just sleep and make it daytime already. Okay. At least I- oh, it did come! Okay, good. I did get it. Jungle log. 
wood. Planks. I get planks for Matt. That's a lot of planks. I don't need a button. Wait, what was the button? Just split it. These are the same thing. Okay. <sighs> Over. The command to split the things. Sticks. That I need. Right? What's the button to split the amount of things I'm holding? Do 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 do. Crafting bench. Oh wait, <laughs> there's no enemies. Shift click. Oh, my elbow. This is gonna be a problem. Oh, right click, okay. That makes sense. Let's, what does it do if I, <gasps> there's a crafting table. Okay, okay, I know that what do I place places right no it's right click I don't need that block anyway how do I move around my inventory I don't know I'll figure it out for now can I use this? How do I use it? Nope, that's not the right one. Oh, that's way too close. Nope. There we are. Okay. So I have, I know you can do right click. And then you need wood to create. There we are. I got an X. And there's a hoe. What else? Um, swords, right? Sword is the next thing. And then a shovel? What is that? Like that? Yes! I did it! So now that I actually have something to work with... Right, okay. There we are. In my hand. I'm pretty sure I need to collect some stone, right? That's the next thing. Yeah. That means I have to mine. It is a raining. That's unfortunate. Hi, piggy. Wait, can I use... How do I move through my menu bar? I know you use menu. Hey, what's up? like he's nodding at me I don't have anything for you I'm probably just gonna end up killing you um nope not that he binds um, da -da -da -da. where I don't know I don't know Anyway, let's just try clicking buttons, and that might work. Mm. Now I can change my hand. <sighs> what was that? Are you guys locked out of your little farmhouse thing? Your pen? What's up? 
Oh right, I need a sword too. I'm right clicking though, I don't want to kill them, I just want to talk to them. Uh. Mm. So I need to go mine somewhere. I could just do it here. It's raining hard. Oh, chickens! Hello. Look back. Wait, I want. I really want to change. I don't know how to do this yet. Oh. Yes, I've collected. Where are you? Come here. Let me dethrone you, chicken. Um, there we are. I get some food in case I actually do some damage to myself. Come on. Nope. Okay, maybe I don't have the handle on the controls yet. Yes, got some meat. I hope you guys can't hear my clicking, my mouse and keyboard, but it's possible. I just like moved up my mic because that was an issue last time. Now it's dry. Okay. Sheep. Yeah. Oh, I've got new. I've got new things. Did I just start? How do I? Okay, that's just switching hands. That's running. Sprint. Oh, I didn't want to drop that. There we go. Guys, I don't know. I at least want to get through the whole like beginning of it before I start building majorly. I'm still in between like the idea of should I first come up with a plan and then like build on stream or should I Rebuild everything and then show it off. Well, I'll probably build on stream, right? More chickens. Come here. No, come here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to kill you. You're the weakest of the links. Apparently that's still me though, because I can't hit you. Oh, chicken. Let me change this. It's, yeah, it's much easier when I, it's like, point of view. At least I know where I'm hitting then. No, come here, don't hide, where'd you go? Where are you? I say that, but then I can't even see myself. And there's a pig. Come here! Yes. Goodbye. Level 2 already? Ooh, I did get something for that. Okay. Okay, I'm not just gonna go around killing things. I didn't see a kitchen. Okay, maybe I am. I didn't see a kitchen. Um, in the little village there, so maybe I can go find another village there must be because i generated to load villages i just didn't expect to see one so close at that time i love this whole place let's run let's just go a bit faster oh i really want to go up there So, oh, there's a chicken. Goodbye. No, come here. I I will die quickly in this game. That's like 
this. Come here. <laughs> Can't even hit a chicken. Oh, I'm stuck under a tree. Maybe that's why. I feel like my inventory is quickly going to get full. Oh, I want to... Oh. Wait, did I learn how to switch things? I just did it, but I didn't even pay attention to what I did. Come on. How did I do it? Oh. Oh, I want to know. Anyway, my sword's gonna die soon. I should probably stop killing things. So, I found stuff, but I probably can't do it very well until I have a stone pickaxe, right? Like, this is gonna take forever. I don't even know what it is. Some green, coppery stuff. Maybe it's carrots. Oh, what is it? Do I even get any of it? I don't know. Didn't take forever. Maybe I should just start in the dirt. I feel like that's gonna be... Get away. Do -do -do. I was gonna find... <gasps> I found some gravel. I think it's gravel? What is it? What biome is good to find this kind of stuff in? Because I don't think this is the one. Maybe it is. Maybe they all have stuff. I shouldn't talk about it as though I know, because I don't know. Hi, pigs. Oh, there. There's more. Ooh, no. Was I just there? Is that the same place I was? Did I just get turned around? Probably. And it's raining again. Yeah, I think this is the same place I was. Anyway, whatever that is, because that's just floating in the air. Makes sense. Oh, that's a hole. Okay. Let's go around that. Oh, it's a flower. I want it. Can I have it? I want without damaging it. No, I can't. Oh, I did get it. Hi. I want to make so many things. I'm going to build like a modern city. Oh, I even forgot. Like I already wrote lore. <laughs> like I have my character, right? But I've wrote a bit of lore and like storyboarding for it already. For what I want to build. I can tell you a bit about it. Um, where was I going? Where? Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Horse, don't do it! No, that's a sheep. Don't do it. Maybe you're a goat because you're climbing. Oh, it's gonna be nighttime again. I'm like, taking way too long to do things. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, sheep, I hear ya. And I don't know what to go. How am I supposed oops. How am I supposed to learn this map if it's so big? Maybe that was my downfall. I created such a large one that I'm not even gonna be able to. I'm still on the shovel. How do I? I don't know. Wooden shovel. This is what I want to use. How do I use it? Anybody have answers? Because I don't. I want to go in this direction. Let's run. At least it feels like this place is going to be lucrative in the way where 
Um, it's gonna be a lot of resources. Uh, right, there's still no Minecraft music, which is what I wanted. So I'll just play my non copyright music. There we go. Get some beats in here. Doo -doo -doo. I'm just still not finding a cave. Maybe I just need to look lower. Away from the town. Because I, I want to build like a jungle treehouse thing there. Because it's by the netherite portal. There's a cat. Kitty kitty kitty. Still don't have any fish. Not gonna be cool. Um. Can I swim? Oh, my person is hungry. I still don't know how to build anything. Not good. I just want a cave, guys. Something that's a bit easier to find or like dig down into than me doing it myself. That would be nice to have. I feel like going up is not gonna be the answer. What are these? I don't know what it is, but... I feel like it could be useful. I'm gonna change my perspective. You know what? I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. I didn't know what to expect with Minecraft because all I've done so far is like load it up and then build the server. I haven't done any coding for it, no plugins, or looked at other people's plugins or mods or whatever. Um, but I'm actually really enjoying myself so far. There's so many things to look at, so many things to do. I'm really just cap captivated. Ooh, is it all clay then? I'm going back to the jungle. I don't want the jungle. I want a cave. What's this? These? Lanterns? What is it? <gasps> it's maple syrup! What did I get? A honeycomb? Probably. Because I don't think they have maple syrup in this game. It's most likely honey. But what do I know? Maybe they do. I just gotta have to remember, remind myself not just to collect everything, because I have a bad habit of doing, of wanting to do that. But I feel like it's also kind of part of this game. Just a little. That a hole? No, that is not. A, that's not a hole. This place is so pretty. I wish there was a way. There probably is a way to just to mod it so that, or a command something, command it to stay. You know, like um, daytime for a while. Maybe not. Go faster. Go, go, go. I really want that black line to go away. But I really like our matching... Matching sweaters. Right, the lore, I completely forgot. Is that a waterfall? Oh! <gasps> I found a cave. I still don't know how to change my items, though. Wow, it's like underwater. Or under cover river. Not gonna be any monsters. Oh shit. Okay. Let's see if there's a way. Um. Um. To move around the bottom bar.
I know you can shift click in the inventory to move stuff to your hotbar, but how do you move around your hotbar? I don't even know. Hmm. Anyway. Come on. It's not that button, it's not this button. Yep. I don't want to throw that. I can't even, I can't even dig. Oh, it's so pretty. More flowers. Or is there like caves on the top too? I feel like the day and night time comes really way too quick, quick. or maybe I'm just really slow at this, which is a very big possibility because I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, more honey. This place is abundant. abundant. Lots of chickens. Have as an abundance is abundant. Oh, guys, I might have to look it up. I don't know. There's only so much running around and clicking buttons I can do. Okay, let's give it a try. How do I move? I move around up. Are in Minecraft. Shift click on an item to stack it. No, that doesn't do anything. <gasps> I hold shift, or do I click? Nope. I did something that made it work. Oh, I roll the. Okay, this I can do. I roll the middle mouse middle mark thing rolly. I don't know what to call it. Oop. Okay, I really gotta stop doing that. Especially if I'm in survival mode. Let's just let's just start. Let's just Oh. Oh wait, that was me. Okay. I'm digging. Digging, digging, digging. I'm gonna make something to exit out of here. Stone! Yes! Now I can make stone things. I don't know how much I need. It wasn't very far down. Oh, I've unlocked stone block. No. Other things. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. But really what I need is to make an oven so I can feed myself before I die. Eee. Okay. Let's crafting table. I have way too many things now. There we go. Okay, um, so now I can do cobblestone. Do I have to turn it into something first? Nope, that was the wrong button. What's the thing? There we go. And sticks, right? I feel like this is still the wrong material. I 
I also don't feel like <gasps> it is the right stone pickaxe. There we go. I don't really need the hose right at this moment. What I do need is a sword, though. Stone sword is going to be better than no sword. Um, that doesn't. That won't do anything. I also feel like I need to throw out some of this stuff. Yeah, I shouldn't have collected so many things. Cocoa beans. Chocolate. Not upset. Okay. So what did I need to do? Right. In order to get that stuff, now I can make make an oven. I need coal, right? Right. So I can just go back down. Hopefully. Oh, that's my fault. Yes. This is much faster. Is the goal now to go as low as I can? I just want to find some coal. Maybe I should go to a different place. It won't be this easy. Or a lantern. Yeah, what's, what's a lantern made out of? I don't know. I'm not gonna find anything. This random hole that I've built. Yeah, no, I'm gonna give it the run around. Gotta take this with me though. Wait, I can drop stuff, right? I'm I don't need that. Or maybe what does it do? That's not what I wanted it to do. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna how do I drop it? Drop it. Oh. Cool. Okay. How do I drop it? Hmm. Place. No, I just wanna place it down, guys. Um there must be a way. Uh, shift click. That's me. No, didn't want to change hands. I just want to put it down. Put it down. I must not go away from this too far. Throw it? No, can't do that. Oh, I did it. Okay, Q. That's I set that to that. Okay. Oh, literally, this is right here. My genius level, not very high. Now, if I hadn't turned off, this feels like ooh, there's stuff there. This feels like it's too dark. Maybe if I just dig around here, I can find something without going all the way to the bottom. I also feel like if I hadn't turned off um, the monsters, that would be some place where they would be. Like a creeper, and skeletons, those things. I just want to find... Nope. Let's keep going. This place is so big that... I don't mind moving past. I don't mind. I don't know. Right. What direction am I going in? Forest jungle. Yay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I was going. 
But I really need to make some food. That's a hole. <gasps> I found some! You know what? I'll go down this way. Yes. Great, I have to throw some stuff out. I uh, will throw those things. Okay. Nope, didn't want to fight with that. Where is there? Yes, give me coal. Right, it's a stick and like... Where? What is making that noise? I don't see anything, okay. How do I make a lantern? It's like a, st or a light. It's a stick and coal, I'm assuming. I know I can do that to make an oven, which is what I really need to do. I figured I can just get to a point where I'm comfortable in what I've learned and move around and stuff, then I can start like really planning what I'm gonna build here. Oh, hi sheep. What's up? Part of the issue is that um, this place is way too big for me to know where things are. I don't want to pick up a sword. Apparently. Like, what were the luck of finding coal? Or maybe it's pretty easy to find and I'm just too new at this. Either way, I'm going to go build. How do I get out? Okay. And like, this is an issue with myself is that I feel like I feel bad for destroying, even though the whole point of this thing is to build. But I want to like preserve it in its natural state <laughs> for when I build on it. Oh, how do I get out? Let me <laughs> here. I'll go up the water. I pretty sure you can do that. Surprise sword for anybody who needs a sword. Yeah, I did it. Okay. Right, foods first. Um. Face. Um. Cobblestone. Just. Nope. Um, cool. That doesn't do anything. I need to make a light first, yeah? Painful. Okay. Stick. Do I need to make multiple stick? Yes. These I'm gonna use a lot. Right. Okay. I'm going to throw out. Oh, Lily of the Valley. I don't want to throw out stuff. This is my problem. I heard something. If I leave it there, does it destroy it? It doesn't destroy it, does it? Um. What is breathing near me? Oh, it's a cow. Damn it, cow. Um. I'll throw out those flowers. I want to keep the torch, but did I? About the flowers. Yeah, I know. Take these. Be my friend and take these. Oh, it's a poppy. Poppy, poppy. Uh. I don't even know why I'm collecting stuff if I'm going to go back into like creative mode. <laughs> yes. 
is my obsessive need for things. Take it. Note to self, do not overwhelm myself by building or what's the word? Collecting too many things. And lantern? Torch? No? Oh! Furnace. Okay, that makes sense. Mm, yes, I hear you. Uh, meat. 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 I don't want that. I will throw it out. Those can stay. Raw beef. Okay. I can go. I will throw you also away. Goodbye. Ah, uh, what else? I don't need a shovel. I'm not gonna use you. Goodbye. But let's use you. Uh, wait, it's not even on. How do I turn it on? Right, okay, this is how you do it. Use coal. <gasps> Stay hydrated. Yes. Do I need to put- oh no, it's loading it. I, I guess one piece of coal does an, an item, or wait, I have to use it- it's still on fire, so as long as it's on fire it'll work. And I have no need for like raw materials, right? Or can I like combine raw materials into creating something else? I don't know. I'll find out though. This is fun. I'm enjoying myself a lot. I guess I could have ate the apples. I can make friends that way, but there's so many animals around. I think I'm gonna save off on making friends or like collecting before until I have like a farmland like built. A chicken. Oh, you need more coal. Well, I just want one one piece of coal back in there. Give me some. Cooked chicken. Right, I completely forgot. Uh, lore. I had a uh, lore stuff for my character. So, right, you saw what she's wearing, like the strawberry sweater. Um, she has a skirt on, but she also changes into pants um, and she has boots. So, the story is, is that like right now it's all kind of a mess, but eventually I'll read it out and maybe I'll do a, like a video where I do a voiceover. Just like, like a story time thing. Maybe I'll make that into a YouTube video rather than like a stream. So I'll use recordings for that just to give the whole thing when it's written out. But the idea is that um, she lived in a village with her mom and her mom worked for, oh, I gotta take this worked for the duke of the town there. I just want one piece of coal. How do I? Um, mom worked for the duke there as a maid. And as did other people. And it wasn't a very big village. It was pretty small. Um, and, um, they were well educated, they weren't, it wasn't like a suffering village, but they had a few weird quirks that weren't really weird to them because they were just used to it. So um, like anything you owned, you had to keep on yourself. Like you had no place to put belongings because if you did, they were free game. So basically the little community was like self-sufficient in that way. There was no outside trading um, because their town was pretty far into a forest. Um, isolated from everything else so at times they would have billet or like travelers come in um, but ultimately can I cook the wheat 
or potato. Um, but ultimately, they would disappear after a while, either leaving is what my character thought they were doing, which makes sense because she was a child at that time. Um, and anyway, the Duke were- ooh, baked potato. The Duke was a pretty nice guy. Um, the town wasn't suffering. The adults were a bit weird at times, but ultimately she was happy. She played in the forest behind the the castle. It's not really a castle, it was like a made out of stone and stuff, but um what should I call it? Where the gun lived. Do 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 do. Yeah, so you carry your own possessions and if you didn't have something on you, um then it was a free game, but if you had too many things, then it was kind of a threat. Because, like, you know, not every, not all people are perfect, and sometimes they did have people that wandered in. So, um, when that happened, um, sometimes people get um, robbed, but usually that was dealt with pretty quick, and there wasn't a lot of, you know, talking about it. Besides, she was a kid, so she was just playing around, playing with the other kids, um, the other council children that would play in the forest with her. And she was good friends with the gardener's daughter, who was a bit older than her. Um, what else? So... Uh, da -da -da. Um, and the Duke was a nice guy. It wasn't like this kind of tyrant dude he was i said this before but he was pretty giving um he told stories so all the kids kids were educated so that they could understand his stories because he liked being a storyteller um he was kind of gruff and like really tall and a bit weird a bit abrasive maybe when talking but overall like a good like good because he tr treated the the, st the town well um, so he would be kind of scary to look at, though, because he had no eyes. <laughs> it was just hollow, but they could still see. This was something normal for this town, though. There was a few people, like, higher council members, and the, du the duke, of course, who were like that. Um, but it wasn't something strange because it had always been around. Just a few people did that, and usually if they had more power, it was more likely that you would see them missing eyes um but they weren't it didn't affect their sight at all which is something unique to just that civilization which they didn't know because that was just their normal um but anyway um da -da 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 -da. so yeah i'll tell that in a story later you keep all your belongings on you and like um her clothes are enchanted so they grow with her so that's the whole possession thing like your own items keep them on you it, it's like literally so her boots were enchanted to grow with her and they also clip together when they're off so she can just carry them around but um her sweater has grown with her so she they've always been wearing the same thing they have no need for like developing new cloths or anything unless they want to it's not really a necessity again everybody kind of lives and works there to provide for the town itself and they don't really have to worry about going hungry or you know missing whatever because they were self-sufficient and they all were able to can i cook an apple <laughs> they were all able to do something so everybody in town had a skill that they were able to contribute to I want to try. I'm going to cook an apple. I, I guess I'm not. Okay. That was good. Now I can eat. How do I eat? Oh, that's hitting. He 
eat it. Um, where was I? Yeah, the whole town was very self-sufficient. Just eat it. <laughs> nope. No, I don't want you to throw it. Um, see the little gold buckles on there? Yeah, those snap together. The sweater grows with her. Thank you, sweater. Um, but yeah, so having strangers come into the town wasn't very common because of all that. How do I eat? I want to eat. Eat it. Um, how to eat. I'm getting to the good stuff about the, the, the story. Just bear, get, bear with me a little. Uh, how to eat in Minecraft. Right click and hold. I did it! I'm, that was the easiest thing to do. Okay, cool. Oh no, my pickaxe. Maybe I should build another one. Just in case. Kind of getting the hang of it, so... Nope. What else? Where was I? Talking about... Anyway. So everybody was self-sufficient, they all helped each other, nobody was really bad because they were dealt with swiftly. Um, hello, sheeps and goats. Hello. Yeah. I wish I knew how to keep you. One day. Um, and they weren't suffering at all, and they had been there for eons, which wasn't a long time for them because they aged incredibly slowly. Um, again, they thought this was normal, they had no outside. Um, involvement. Now, everybody was like, again, educated, child, children included. Um, it's not like the town was suffering, so they're prospering in that way where they had the ability to like offer those um, to the people around them, around them in the town. Um, that's what the, the Lord wanted. Is he melon? Is this a melon? Oh, it's a strawberry. Ironically, it is fruit. Okay, let me collect this fruit as I talk. So, they were also taught to fight in like the most normal way possible. Not like trained like, you know, knights or anything, but you know, daily activity was posed as battle tactics, tactics, it's something kids enjoyed doing, they were just, you know, like how when elementary school you were taught how to, I don't know, stretch or something, which is similar to yoga, but it's not exactly, wasn't exactly the same thing, stuff like that. So it was similar, but it wasn't directed at like, you need to learn how to fight, but they just did. In a sense, the town was prepared to be alienated and attacked in that weird way and that's exactly what happened they were attacked the whole castle not the castle establishment where the duke lived was destroyed um as and the villagers and the, everybody was killed the thing is how she escaped is because she spent so much time playing around um running away from her chores and stuff when she was a kid because she helped around it's not like they made the children work especially but um it's not like she didn't do anything like they had chores like washing pots or doing laundry and stuff like that so as the average kid of trying to run away and escape those kind of things she was out in the forest at the time of the attack and came back to it in ruins so that's something i'm gonna have to build i'm gonna build the town um and i'm gonna then have to destroy it so that'll be heartbreaking because it's um, her family home, but it'll have to be done. And also, if anybody really knows how to get rid of those black lines, 
Please tell me. This is bothering me. I don't know if I just need to like refresh her or something. Like, what are these blocks? I feel like I have to learn. Right, I can't pick up anything. Everything is full. I don't, do I need a feather? What do these things do even? I don't know. Anyway, the town was attacked. Everybody was killed. She ran away. She was quite young still at the time, but it's not like, and all of her belongings were on her, conveniently, as though everybody in town were prepared to be attacked. So they could just pick up and leave if they had to. They knew minor, minor fighting skills, nothing too extreme, and had the ability to up and go whenever the time was necessary. They were educated, smart, and... But that didn't help in the day's end of everybody getting murdered and it was a militia it was a there were knights from a different neighboring town some people they've never met before but apparently were very much after them and very much after trying to kill them all but they didn't find her and then she grew up on the run this was oh it's a bunny this was um hard for her Especially because she had to, no, no, she had to grow up by herself and her race, they aged very slowly. So she had spent many, many years as a child um, on the streets, not streets, but like in the forest running to try to make food and stuff and they know she knew how to grow crops because that's what she did she grew fruits and stuff outside the veggie or outside of the the duke's house because that's something she liked to do they learned how to grow stuff and it was how she kept herself fed and kept going and so the thing is there were some strange things about her species and her town and village people things she never noticed were different from other people because she had never met other people other than those strange t those times that um strangers came to the village or travelers um but even then they didn't stick around for a lot long time and the kids never talked to them especially um so she noticed some things different like the whole clothes staying on you for the rest of your life kind of thing not necessary also not that it couldn't be necessary, but not something that happened or that was available, so she kept her stuff very close to her. Um, because she only had her mom back in her village, and she couldn't go back to find her because when she saw from the treetops it was all burning down, she couldn't go back to save anyone. She was only just a kid. So she'd spent a long time doing that, growing and trying to feed herself and staying out of trouble. So she definitely had learned to pickpocket, to steal a little bit, um, to fight, you know, the average animal, probably not people. She had fought a few people, but nothing extreme. She does have a scar on her leg. I don't know if you can see just there, the side on her thigh from a battle that she had. But besides- am I back to where I was? Is this the netherite portal? <laughs> did I just go in a circle? I totally did. Or nether- nether world, whatever it's called. What about gold? No, I don't have any holes in my thing to- Anyway, yeah, I got distracted for a sec. So besides, yeah, so she kept her clothes. Um, and there was something strange about her that wasn't the norm in comparison to everyone else in the town was that it was normal for her species. Not only the whole eye thing, it didn't just happen naturally. Like there was definitely something secret, some secrets that were happening with the people higher up in the council and like hierarchy or whatever that used their eyes 
or something. It wasn't uncommon to see, but it wasn't super common. It's like the average person didn't have that, but if they were specialized in something, they would at times maybe be missing one or two. And usually the one, the people that were missing two were of higher status, which was always eerie and interesting, but nothing out of the norm. Again, she'd grown up with these around these people for, no, I want to go this way. She'd grown up around these people her whole life. And that was a long time in comparison to like the normal average child. Um, and there was something else that they, that happened. It was natural. Like everybody grew um, one or two scars on their body, just like lines there that would grow and they never really developed past that you were lucky if you grew two if you had two on your body and the thing is with this character is that apparently she kept naturally producing them which is why her mom never t told her to never take off the sweater it was one of the items that were directly given to her and enchanted for her specifically because of all of that why is it oh there's lava oops so she was told never to take it off. So she has this big baggy, like, strawberry sweater that she's been keeping forever. That's enchanted anyway, so it doesn't really matter much. Oh, honey. And with these scars, she has no idea what they do, really. Um, again... She hadn't learned much about their own species because she didn't think they were very different until she had to leave. Oh, watermelon. Okay. So with, uh, with, um, I keep forgetting where I am in the, story that I'm telling again I'm gonna tell us better when I like build up the whole town and stuff and then I'll like record myself destroying it or something and finish up the story and retell it properly but this is just kind of a sneak peek of what it's gonna be about and so her she kept growing the scars the Duke knew knew about it and also agreed with her mother that you know to keep it all hidden and stuff maybe the Duke didn't know that's something I'll have to figure out still. More ooh, lava. Almost walked right into that. And... Oh, I don't want to fall into it. And in doing so... Oh, right, the scars. So, naturally grown scars. What she... F she'll later find out is that those scars actually open up and they're actually eyes that grow on their bodies so not only do they age incredibly slow they're not immortal they age incredibly slow but their bodies grow usually additional somewhere on their body no nowhere the same place the one or two slits that grow will pop open an eye but it, it usually has to come with the use of like some something enchanted or magic or something and the reason why the duke had been missing his eyes was because when that species would start using um, that magic it would be obsessive almost to a point not in like an evil way but it would go to a point where they would use the eyes on their body am I what is this am I back to where I started possibly I feel like I need to go in the other direction to get somewhere new. Let me out. Um, yeah, they use magic and use up the eyes like a sacrifice kind of thing. What is the motto? I have a motto somewhere here. It's like the concept of sight provides power even in the absence of light. Something like, oh, I thought that was something else. That's just a branch. Um, so that what their village is kind of about people in power use their eyes and they can't use other people's eyes so it wasn't like anything dangerous for her at least and 
She never really learned a lot about it. Again, just, I think she was too young for it to even affect her, and she wasn't supposed to tell people that she had grown. Uh, she was, like, naturally developing more than other people. Oh, I fell a little. Developing more than other people. Um, it was meant to be a secret for whatever reason, and, like, the daughter of the gardener knew because she was friends with her and helped patch her up when she scraped her knee or something, fell out of a tree, stuff like that. Um... I really should have, like, my directions on, because I have no idea where I'm going. Oh. <gasps> right, it's not gonna kill me. Um. So, that's why the Duke probably had some magic or whatever it was, powers that he had been messing around with. He used the eyes on his body. Maybe he had developed naturally three, four, maybe um, the more you develop, the more inclined you are to it naturally. Or maybe it was just a strange thing that she developed on her own. You know what, I'm... I have to find out where I am. Oh, that's pretty. Um, whatever I'm going to settle on, really. But nobody's um, scars really opened up into eyes, unless you, like, tapped into that stuff. So, um, she didn't find out about it until much later. So that's a little bit of a spoiler, but, um... Are those llamas? Hello. Do I have vines? No. No. Eat root. No. What is that? Is that just the llama noise? Horrifying. But I want your llama. Did I just spawn? Oh wait, I'm in creator mode. I just spawned a llama egg. Oh! I'm sorry. I'm here. Let me ride you. No, I didn't want to kill you. I'm sorry. <gasps> it's a baby! I didn't know they grew babies. Well, like... But I didn't know the Minecraft had babies of things. It's so cute. It even has its own little saddle. I'm enchanted. Anyway, back to figuring out how big this world is, which it seems like it's really big. Okay. So yeah, the eyes open up, something to do with magic, still have to develop that part, really. Um, it's more of a jungle. Is this still on my copyright free playlist? There we go. I don't know. I don't want to get plagued for it. Okay, now I'm back to where I was. I feel like maybe I'm hitting the end of it. If I just go straight. Is that a different one? No, that's the same one. I just go straight for a while. Then I'll... Okay, run. Ooh. See how really... how big this place is. I'll let you generate. Come on. Am I too high? Okay, there we go. Oh, this is a new part. It's another, another nether, netherite portal. 
I think. Cool. I should probably write down these spawn points. But who has time for that? I probably do. Anyway, back to the story. I'm gonna figure out that stuff at a later date. And basically her goal right now is to go find the people who had killed her mother and the rest of her town and figure out why. Because she doesn't know about the whole magic thing. She doesn't know about the eyes or why she has so many natural cuts on her body or why her species aged so long or why they had been so hidden away from everyone else purposely. Like, were there, was there someone always after them? Um, was that, were they in hiding and just didn't know about it? Was there something? So there's a lot of questions that she wants answered. There's a hole. Um, that she just wants to figure out. Ooh. So pretty. Um. Can I, can I? There's a llama egg in the water. Um. I hope I didn't drop anything important when I threw that. I think I just threw, like, when I picked up the, the llama egg, I think, I think I dropped my other axe. Which is my mistake. But I can just make another one. Water just keeps going. I think I made a mistake with building this biome so large. This server so large. Because I have no idea. At least it's going to be, like, a lot of things, too explore and it keeps going not like i've hit the edge yet um but yeah so she has a lot of questions that she needs answered and she also wants revenge for the death of her mother which is her only family and all her friends and her whole civilization her whole species i mean because she doesn't know what she is and she figures that the people that were hunting them would but she has to also keep quiet about who she is because she doesn't know if they know if she's alive or if she admits to it, will someone try to go find her? So she has no answers and she has no one she can ask. Um, and she grows up like that, grows up in traveling towns, in the forests, trying to survive, all alone. With her magically enchanted, uh, <laughs> clothes, uh, her her scars that had naturally developed like stopped developing at a certain time but they're all over her upper body which is why she wears the sweater i probably said that already um is that the end is this the corner no how is there so much Wow. Are those flowers? I feel like I haven't been moving in a straight line, but I could also use the F3 to find which direction I'm going in. Like, ugh. I just want it to loop, kind of. I don't know if it does or if I'm gonna lose that area over there. Probably not, because that's where my spawn point is. But, um. But yeah, she's done that and she's looking for revenge, and that's kind of where I've gotten to. Yeah, there's some questions like why was stealing such a horrid offense, or rather, why was it important that people didn't value possessions or keep them? Again, her suggestion was like that people must have been after her after them so they had to be light on their feet um and it was like almost religious in a way to, that was it was enforced to carry what you owned because it was for the best of the community to share everything else um why was the town survival so important in a at uh to an almost paranoid length um all things she noticed as a child that she later questions. Do, 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 do. 
but right now I'm going to just build that town, create the story around it, kind of polish it up, record it, whether I do that on stream or not. I might build the, the, the town on stream because I have an image of what I want it to look like already. Um, oh, is it just water? Like, why do I need so much water? Like, what's... What am I even going to do out here? Hope it's not lagging. At the edge? No, it's not. God damn it. But yeah, no, I'm hoping to, you know, because this is my own personal one. So I'm going to build here and then I'll probably go on like other servers, like public servers and play around, maybe make some friends, reach out to some other streamers or something to see if they want to work with me with the story that I'm building or, you know, just make some friends. It is kind of really what I'm looking forward to is the multiplayer aspect. Like. I can keep doing this, like talking and talking, like I enjoy this as well, and... Oops. And this is probably, has been, like, the most I've enjoyed something in a long time. But I also want to play, like, Uno with a whole bunch of people, or, you know, Gartic Phone, and... Um... I don't know, I'm just really looking for- I think that's the biggest aspect of this whole streaming thing that I'm doing now is I want to meet people, make some good friends. Um, and not just Minecraft, because like there's so much to do. I can see why people spend hours and hours and hours, like a majority of their time playing this because how could you stop? There's no end. But like I have GTA 5 that I'm part of. Like, um, I got into no pixel pretty quick, so I have that. I just, my, my problem with it is that I can't get onto the server because it's so busy. Um, but I figured in time I'll be able to. Um, I do have my character lore, like the description and who she is as a person for no pixel, like up on my discord. So if you wanted to check that out, I'm also going to put up this character's lore and story up on there as well on my discord when it's all written and done so i have it logged somewhere like besides my own files but so that people can read and look at um i feel like it's just but i really want to play that but i can't because the server is so busy i think i got to character creation like twice and i've been part of it since november 20th which you know props to them for even creating the server in the first place like it's not i can understand why it's busy i'm not gonna i'm not booing on that or anything it's just something i wish i like i i haven't played gta before so i've seen my brother play it so i really want to oh I'm hoping I come across land sometime soon because like this an endless water thing is a problem. What? What is that? Will I drown in crater mode? What is this? Whoa. This is definitely a building, right? Oh, hi, fish. This is something like, yeah, that's something else. Oh, it's raining. Cool. Okay. I'll have to remember that there's something like that. Ah, uh, thunder. What way am I going? Nope. Away from it. I just want to get back on land now, to be honest. I think I, I there's probably a code for spawning. But yeah, this is kind of. What is that? 
but I saw something else. Is that lava? Oh, it's gonna be lava. No, it's not. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna look up spawn point. Just a second. Just updating. I don't think it changed over. Back to game. Now I'm just kind of desperate to find land. I. I get it's big, so now I can't. Uh, let me let me look up a spawn code. No. There you go. Right. Uh, spawn area. Minecraft. And I kind of talked about it in my first stream. That's not. You have cheats enabled. Use the command kill to respond at the spawn point. Yeah, uh, game rule, keep inventory true. Okay. Mm. Oh, did I do something wrong? Probably. I have a new keyboard, so still getting used to it. I don't want that. I want true. Maybe I have to fix that myself. Later. Can I just run home? Anyway, if I just keep running in a direction, hopefully eventually I'll get there. But anyway, I talked about this a bit on my first stream that's not saved on twitch unfortunately um oh i feel going too quick for the server um that i've never really played video games before so really like this is my first playing mine first time playing minecraft but it's also my first time playing something like this like i've played some games to a small amount like when i was a kid i played um mario like Super Mario um, on Game Boy Advance. I think I played Golden Sun. I still have actually. When I was a kid, I beat that those games. Um, maybe like Nintendo or something. <laughs> um, like in middle school, my brother had PS2 or PS3. I watched him play uh, Grand Theft Auto a little bit. So I've been looking like years, been waiting to play that game. So that's why I hopped on just to join No Pixel right away. Um, Cause I'm really excited, but Oh, the server's so busy, so eventually. Um, I also played a bit Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Um, what else? Uh, a little bit. It was my brother's. Uh, and then like a snowboarding game. Um... I find land! Finally! Where am I? What is this? Is that lava again? Lava? Oh, it's those blocks. Wait, are those creepers? Are they just floating in the water? Like, it'll still grow creepers, but they're not gonna be, like, attacking. So that's nice at least. I feel like, where do I go? I hope I'm not just going back in the direction I was. But yeah, um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, did a bit of that, the early versions. That was fun, but like again, not a lot of playing of it. I never beat those games. Um, like, 
like maybe a half an hour or an hour at a time, like a few times. And then I definitely played like The Sims a lot, so I definitely know I'm interested in building. And that's why I've been so excited to play Minecraft, because I've heard about its building. And yeah, a little obsessed, a little, little bit more than a little excited to get to that. Um, I played Sims 2, 3, and 4. That was pretty much... Oh right, I also played RuneScape when it just started up online. Um, I played a bit of that. I don't remember why I didn't stick around in it longer. I think I had gotten pretty far in the story a few times. Oh, I'm getting closer, I think, to more land. Finally. Yes. Yes! Finally. Is this like the other side of the map or is this place I've already been? Thanks. Oh, they're stranded there. Do I have to go this way? Is it an island? It's an island. Yes, good, 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 good. This place is so nice. I don't think- I haven't run across- Oh, waterfall. I haven't run across any, like, ice or snow biomes yet, but with how big this place is, I, I could imagine that there- it exists somewhere, you know? And if- if this is the case that it's just too big to keep playing in, or that like it uses too much memory like i have a lot of memory like my computer's not suffering or anything i set it at two gigabytes the server but i might you know what i should do i'm gonna load up my first world that i built that had a really cute like little town on a mountainside that's where i set my spawn location to so it'll pop up right there um but i'll show you that just before i end which I don't think I'm going to end at 3, I think I'll keep going for a bit more because I'm a little bit having too much fun. A horse meeting, just over there. Is this a new town? It's a new town. <laughs> Finally! <gasps> yes! Hey. Hello! Are you home? But yeah, uh, Sims I played and then on... Can I sleep? Is that something I can do? You can sleep at night or during thunderstorms. Right, I forgot. Um, isn't it a thunderstorm though? <laughs> or is it just rain? I don't know. Um, what was I saying? I, yeah. Oh, emeralds. I did it. I'm gonna just steal your emeralds. Empty map. Ooh, I can make maps too. Um. What was I saying? Yeah, I tra I played um, on the Switch um, Dragon Quest Builders too. I don't know if I finished number one, but I definitely played all number two. I can't remember if I like started He's a rock boy. Okay. I can't remember if I started number one and just stopped it. Okay, you won't talk to me. And moved on to number two because I wanted to see what it, you know, was like or I was just, you know, enjoying the new features or something. Let me out! Get out of my way, sir. That's not very nice. Thank you. I really like this little coastal town. It's really cute. Come on. Yeah. Nothing special about you. Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. I can see underneath there, there's some lava. Okay. What is this place? Oh! <gasps> hey, dude! Can I only talk to you if I'm in survival mode? Which I think I'm gonna go back to.
Yeah, I think I'll have to reset or go into my... server properties to change that to like keep my inventory every time I get killed or something. Hi. No, I can't do anything with you. Blast furnace? What does that do? At this point, I don't care. <laughs> it's too soon. This is such a cute little area. I love that they have docks that they've built, even though it has holes. Um, yo, dude, let me in. Hey. Nobody wants to talk to me. Okay, cool. Let's go into your house. Nothing. I'm leaving. Good day, sir. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I played Dragon Quest Builders. Finish number two. I think I played some time of my time in Porsche. Like, I, I didn't finish it. Um, but that's it. That's my game experience right there. Hence, hence the confusion and just overall, no, <laughs> I almost died. Maybe not died, maybe died. Oh yeah, keeping the inventory kind of ruins the whole point of dying, doesn't it? Maybe I won't change that. Can you stop raining now? Yay, okay. Now we're finally getting back to someplace normal. So this is kind of my gaming experience, and that's where it ends. Oof. Um, so I'm still kind of learning, still getting, uh, still getting used to, you know, the movements. I think I'm better. I definitely had a lot of practice my first stream, because it was the same kind of thing with uh, Death Store, which is an indie game about like a reaper. A bird. <gasps> Bumblebees. Hello? 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 Wait, do I have honey? I have honey. Can I give it to the bumblebee? Where is it? I have honeycombs. Right? I thought I collected some. Did they just not come to my thing because it was awful? No! I'm sad. Another time. Another time, I'll make pets another time. That's hornet's nest probably, or bee nest. Um, but yeah, I'm getting better at the movements, I think at least. I have a story plan for Minecraft. I have building I'm gonna be doing. There's turtles. Hello, flat boys. What's up? You chill? <gasps> Hello? Hello? Hey, dude! Hi! Oh! Oh my god! You're so cute! Wait, do they want potato? You want potato? Can I give you some meat? Hello! Oh, uh, I regret not knowing how to do things right this instant. This is the best day ever. Hello, Tudor Lude. Turtle Dude. But I must leave you, little brother. My first time seeing these kind of animals. Here we go. Ah, uh, horses. Let's run. But yeah, I think I'm getting better at it. I'm trying not to just get absorbed in this game and forget to talk about what I'm doing because that's a habit I'm trying to break anyway what is over there I'm gonna go check it out 
I still think that place where that first netherite portal was in the jungle is kind of where I want to start. Was it a place where something once existed? Yes. Is there something this way? Maybe. I kind of want to go over there. Looks like an island. I'm into it. Oh, I think the running has made me tired. Octopus, stay away. Good thing I have so much food. Um, but, um... Where was I? Oh, it's so pretty. Right, I have to find a forest area to build that town. Which is kind of my first goal. Yeah, that doesn't go anywhere. Cool, 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 cool. Baked potatoes. Eat it. More turtles. Okay. Turtles grow on or in the sand area. Good to know. Chickens. Damn chickens. But yeah. Okay, I feel... What should I talk about now? Kind of got my story out of the way. You know what, I'm gonna go back. And jump into creative. I just don't want to be end up wandering back into a corner. so big right i was gonna show you the uh the first world i built which was definitely smaller thankfully i just kind of want to like if i save this will i spawn back here or will i go back to the original spot i feel like i could still find it because this i think this is where i first spawned actually because i remember this ledge here this this big hole this is where the world started so i think the jungle was just straight ahead then but i th i think that's it i think i've gone through the whole thing the major a lot of it is just water which is unfortunate um maybe i can set up some games or something in this one and use a smaller one for what i want or keep it going so other people can build in it too which is um is a goal of mine as well not goal but like I don't want to limit that if I have friends on here if I have friends if I if I make friends that like Minecraft I want to build on a private server then more the more the merrier kind of thing Hello. oh of course this is the time where I could have used a bed to sleep One of the first things I want to build, though, is a little treehouse in the jungle area. Holy smokes. Look at that hole. That's one big tree, too. Or maybe I just grew on top of it. Okay. Wow. That's so pretty. I love that. Okay. Back to what I was doing. Maybe I can find another village. There should be more. If not, I know where I am now anyway. But I think I'll save it and hop into my other server. Switch back to there's three right now. I'll switch back to out of this game and do that. But I've explored it all now, so well, kind of. I should really just be running around. I've made iron, iron weapons. I've collected food, cooked things, cr built a crafting table. There's probably a lot more that I'm like essentials that I'm missing out on. 
Where was the jungle? I think it was this way. Um, probably a lot more essentials that I'm missing out on that I haven't got to, but these are kind of just the ones that... Um, stream is frozen. Oh no. Is it still frozen? I hope I saw that message when it was sent. I don't know. Oh, another little town. Mm. Now I have the bitrate pretty low, so it's at 2000, so it should register from most, like, components. It shouldn't have, like, too much lagging issues with it. I'm not running at too much of a high bitrate, but again, like, outside is covered in snow. No, dude, I want to sleep. Get out of the bed. That's the hole right next to a front door. Um, can I get out? I want to sleep. Um, so hopefully it's just the snow that's making the connection a bit bleh and not like the actual stream because i'll have a recording and i'll be uploading all of these on youtube as well so do go check that out um i'll have the whole vods there and then i'll also make like little highlights i don't know what the highlights of this place of my stream would be can i sleep oh i'm doing it sweet okay this is the chance that I have. I'm going to switch to this. Disconnect that one. And I'll be switching over. So just just give me bear with me for a few minutes. Probably won't take that long. But I do have to rename a few things. Um, I hope it's still not frozen for that viewer. I hope the audio is okay too. Okay, so finally there's Minecraft music. For some reason only working when it's not playing. But whichever oh, save as to Almost there, guys. There we go. It should load up. That just takes a few seconds to boot all of the places. Hopefully it's gonna load the right world. But yeah, never played video games. Started Minecraft. It's a lot of fun. And that's a bit loud. Let me turn it down. There we go. Um, loading libraries. <laughs> yeah, this has been a lot of fun. I know I'm just walking around and kind of just chatting, but and I don't have a lot of things that go on in my life. Like right now, we're kind of snowed in and iced in, like everything's covered in ice. So it's just me and the computer and I really wanted to stream my first time playing Minecraft before I you know 
um, built or anything. So I was really waiting to do that. Almost there. It's loading. Good, good, good. Okay. But yeah, um... I'm still trying to figure out which... You'll have... Like, I would love if someone commented to tell me which world they would prefer. If not, that's okay too. I think I'll probably go with... Like, that place was so big that... It's not a... It had, like, nice biomes, but I don't like the aspect of the water, so I might even create a new world where it has less of that. Spawn something else. And give that a look. Because I really want to get a good plot of land for... Our, all of it, and this place seems to have a lot of... Or that place seemed to have a lot of islands. And like it was broken up by a lot of rivers and that's kind of not what i wanted even though i really liked the jungle biomes i know they're pretty rare in just like the natural um the natural like minecraft um games where they generate a random one but with a, a private server i'm pretty sure you can yeah so here it goes with a private server i can seed like a bio myself which if I don't like it I'll just delete it and then try again there we go me jump back into let me jump back into the game. Here we are. Okay, so this is where I spawned last time. It's all sunny. Hi, cows. I didn't collect anything. I think I'm in survival mode. Yeah. Again. Again, I can't remember if I turned off. I'm pretty sure I turned off for all of them, like the attack. Because I have to do that prior to loading up the, the game. I would have to disconnect to reload it up. But anyway, I can just avoid it. But this is the first world. It's not as big. But I saw that and I was like, oh, that's great. Like it even has like little farms. It has like the stall area. I guess you could sell stuff here. Cats. It also has cats. Oh, hi. Oh, no. Hello. And some more golems, I guess they're called. But yeah, I saw this and I was just like, I must keep this world. So I did. And I kind of like that. Um, that it has like a winter one because I hadn't seen a winter one prior. Like I did load one world like I did a few before I got to that one that had the jungle in it but I did load one world that was like all ice um which maybe I'll do another one with ice or something like I'll just maybe make a few different stories or characters or something like that I probably not characters I'll probably stick with her but again I could do like make different stories for different areas, different servers maybe. Add it into like a big story where she travels to different places in the world and each like server is a different world or part of the world rather. Okay. Please. Run faster. Oh. There was stuff over here. This place seems really hilly. I don't mind it, but I can see it being a pain when wanting to build. Or maybe that's a good thing, because then you have all these different, like, heights to go with. And caverns, and you have this... Um... Let's see. Oh, jeez. 
Keep going. Not even at the tallest point. Oh, that is a hole. Wait. Ow. Mm. Don't want to fall in there accidentally. Come on. Load up quicker. I guess I could set the, the viewing distance a bit better. But yeah, this was the first world. First private server. Now they can't connect unless I share. Um, so it's a bit different than the realm. Like I had to share a private code to get in. And I don't even know the distance for people if they want to get in. Like, it has to be a certain, like, certain people. I can't just, uh, broadcast it, unfortunately. Um, that's what the realm thing that you can buy from Minecraft would do, I suppose. So it could be published, um, for other people to see, but this one is just, it has to load up through my IP directly. My router and stuff. Do do. Running, running, running. I want to find something else like that mountain uh, village just to look at. Like, I can see around here it's just gonna be trees and hills, trees and hills, trees and hills. Um. But maybe I'll get more if I'm closer. Or see more if I'm closer. I'm very happy that there's baby animals though in this game. I didn't I didn't know about the babies. Do -do 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 -do. Run. So weird. You see the, the bottom of the actual platform? Or not the platform, whatever it's called. Um the code. Whatever. I love the physics of this place. You know sheep dudes? <sighs> I'm not finding anything else besides holes. Now I have another world, just one more that I saved. Ooh, what's happening over here? that I do want to also just like run around and just to look at because I haven't had the chance. Well, I didn't take the chance to do it because I wanted to do to really film it and get a first impression of what I'm looking at. Jeez. Like, I get... Okay, Minecraft mining. I get it. But with all the holes, it's like instant death. And like I wouldn't mind. Uh, again, I keep thinking of like how easy would it build be to build like a big expansive world. Are those train tracks? What? Right, carts, Main mining makes sense. Okay, I just didn't think about it. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Another netherite portal. Okay. Ow. Cool, 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 cool. Well, that one's almost complete. Just needs... What? Two blocks? There's one there. There is a chest. Golden axe. Golden hoe. I don't think gold's, uh... Um, weapons are very good. I heard that, so... I don't know how useful that will be. Red sand. Oh, that netherite won't... I don't think I can break these, either. 
And it kind of looks like it just hopped, hopped in and destroyed some of those blocks. Wow. Wow. Is that all lit up? Is it like... That's so cool! Is it like... Not- it's not neon lights, because that's in the sky, but... What's it called? There's like a coral that glows? Bio- biomes- bionescence? Bio something like that. That's so pretty! Yeah, look at all the coral! I've unlocked a boat! There we go. Oh wow. Oh, I'm now I'm like tempted just to say like I will build this world on this map for this server because of this, just because of this. This is sick. Run faster. Now, I don't want to just end up running over water again forever. So hopefully I can stick to land and kind of go around that even if it's Let it load a bit. I'm thirsty. Remember to hydrate. Because I definitely do not. Like on a good day, I forget whether, like, regardless if I'm on the computer. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Algae? Oh, it's another. Wow. Like, Minecraft has really outdone itself. Like, I was hoping for another village, but, like, this tops it. Oh, and there's so much of it. Yeah, I'm happy I saved this world. Why does it keep seeming like there's going to be... Oh, I don't want to end up running over water forever. There we go, back to land. I need to extend my view. Is this... I'm running faster than I can keep up. Is that like... What is this? Is it a something that was built? It looks like it. Oh yeah, it's a well. I don't even know how to collect water, but I know you can. <gasps> okay, wrong button. There we go, there's something. Lava, it looks like a temple. Yeah, it's definitely a temple. Can I go in it? I can go in it. No, I don't remember if I turned off. Oh geez, don't remember if I turned off. Fighting. I do have a gold. <laughs> I guess I'm in creator mode, so it doesn't really matter, but... Come on. You can get up. Wee. Okay, it's just a small temple. That's fine. On the edge of a hole. I'm always so curious what's going on down there, but it seems so dark and... It's nighttime currently, so. I also don't know which direction I was going in. This way? Yes, this way. <laughs> but anyway. Right, tunes. I keep forgetting about it. If this stream is like super laggy, I'll have to look into that. Maybe I'll remove it off of Twitch and just upload the recording on YouTube. Because, like, I have, like, I talked about all my lore in here and like the stories, and so I definitely want to keep that out. I know I didn't upload my first stream that I did. Um, but 
but it was just mostly me failing at death's door for like two hours so i don't know how essential it would be to post i'll still have to see about that come on Mm -hmm. I'm still nothing around. So if I'm gonna, I don't want to generate. I could generate because it will just take as much time as it had to load up this server to generate a new one. Sort of. No, it won't. It'll take a little bit more time because I have to load everything up again. Um, so I'll do that off stream. But I will do another one or a few more just to look around, give a good view of it. And then I think I'll start be building. Maybe I could try building something just now and keep, uh, see what it's like. I think I'll do that. That's This is a good place. Pretty empty. I can pick out whatever blocks I want while in this mode. Let's just stick with sand. Can I write how much I want? Oh. Okay, that was cool. I'm gonna move these. Fire charge. Flint. Flint stick. Sand. Um, so I got that. Oh, wow, there's so many things. Oh, a bed. I kind of want to save that other save point, though. don't want to generate all the way over here if I'm not going to stay around here. I just wanted a door, guys. Where's the doors? There we are. Let's get an oak door in here. Maybe two. Let's do two. Um. Okay. First building experience. Now that I can actually use... Nope, that's, that's the opposite of what I wanted. Okay. I'm already going swimmingly. Nope, this... I can see why this is easier to do. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Right click, right click, right click. I hope there's a, there must be a, like a good way of doing this and that's speedy and not gonna Sort of speedy. I, I'll get the hang of this. It's not too bad. Okay, that was kind of bad. The sand is pretty easy to break down. Ugh, doing that. So, a sandbox. <laughs> yeah, sandbox. Oh, it's a perfect square too. No, it's not. Maybe? No, it's like one block off or something. Cool. I do like this view better. Let's... Oh, that's gonna bother me. Nope, that's gonna bother me. There, we'll do that. I can't jump and place things. Okay. Um, more sand, please. I'm just gonna make a little jump, jump, jumpy gonna make a little if anybody 
has tips or tricks on like building etiquette or whatever let me know or even if this isn't like because <laughs> i feel like i'm either doing this wrong or i'm just very bad at it but again i'll get the hang of it i think especially if i want to do a lot of building see this is my problem is i feel like i get down from there i want to do a lot of building but if it ends up with me just messing around because I can't like place things properly, I would rather record it and then upload. Um, just so that it's I can cut out some or at least upload the full thing and then do like the highlights after i also have seen people do two blocks height worth of building but well i guess that's pretty much normal because that's their height but wouldn't it make sense to have the walls just a little bit taller because i don't know about you but when i walk into a room I do not touch the roof. Okay. Yeah, I can see why this is... Not bad for just a square. Nope. I'm just trying to think of. Nope, I didn't want to pull that. Ah. Fingers are mashing everywhere. That's better. Oh! It, it just won't stay. I guess that's why people use wood for building. Would it stay if it's just connected to one piece? I wonder, does it even stay floating if it's not standing on something? It doesn't. So you really do have to have something underneath it at all times to keep it up. Oh, sandstone! That's what people were using. Or, not that people, but like the other temple was made of sandstone. What? I didn't even see this over here. Hello? Wow. This is the first time seeing like a desert town meow cats where hi i don't have fish for you hello i don't have any nope nope no thank you oh wow hello goodbye I love the little, like, garden thing they have up here, in the front there. Up. Up. Around. Oh no, is this the big tower that I saw? Am I gonna just have to keep going around in a circle? Oh! Ha 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 ha! Okay, this is my problem. I'm gonna end up collecting everything. Wow. I'm still in creator mode, so really doing that was kind of pointless. <laughs> wow, and they built it just, you know, over a hole. Let's go see. Oh, it's like a... I get it. It's their well. Oh, jeez. A cat just killed something. What was it? Is it bunny? Maybe? This house 
Is that even on anything? Yeah, it is. Okay. What are those? Hello? <gasps> More cats. I just... I'm just enjoying the cats, I think, at this point. And hopefully... Books. Oh, it's a church. I get it. Can't do anything with it though, and they're potted plants. This is probably the nicest, nicest town I found. Actually, I really like this world because that first town on the mountainside there um, was also very nice. That, however, is not. I also used the wrong tools. I guess I'll just have to get used to it though. If I'm, especially if I'm gonna be like building. In Minecraft, the just got kind of zoned out there. But yeah, if I'm gonna be building in Minecraft, I better get the hang of actually doing that. Or at least the tools on what to use because this was a waste. Big waste of a square. <laughs> I do like watching it all fall though. Now I have a ton of sand that I don't need. Okay, not bad. Let's... can I return this? <laughs> yes, please. Good. And... Stripped spruce wood. Sandstone, there we go. Oh, and you can get p patterned sandstone. Smooth. Can I get a few? Smooth. A slab. And cut. Um. Um, I'm just trying to figure out, because I have no ideas right now for what I'm doing. I'm just trying to practice on... Nope. Practice on... Placing stuff. Chisel. Cut. So that when I do build, it'll be a lot easier. Oh, sandstone. Oh, and there's different colored sandstone. Uh, that's what I grabbed. Smooth sandstone. I don't think there's any other sandstone. Doesn't look like it. Smooth. I was wrong. Um. There we go. Let's go back to that. I want the smooth slab. Maybe I can build something cool. I always see these really awesome builds that people make. Oak door, sandstone. Smooth. Nope. Oh. Right, I don't need to do that. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Yes, okay. Wait, I have to get it right this time because it was off. Last time. But now I can make the doors together. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I'll just replace the ground as well. Placing, placing, placing. There we go. Is there... Do they, like, face together if you... There we go. They do face together if you place them in the same spot. But now this is too large. 
One, two, one, two. No, that was right. Okay. Oh my goodness. Nope. This, this is the learning curve. Which, you know, I'll get the hang of it. It doesn't seem like it's, I feel like it's pretty close to Dragon Quest Builders. It's just the animatronics are a little bit different. Like the animatronics, the movements. Mm, is it easier like this? No. Out of the way. Oh, and they have nice lights. And I do not. Oh, I guess you can make windows too. That's what I'll do here. Give it a nice big window. Okay, so the sandstone will stick even if there's nothing under it. That's nice to know. Because that's. What's my problem? Have some doors. Where would I find windows? Decoration? No. Okay, that's not it. Um. Okay, the doors are here. I don't see any glass. I think that's what it was, right? Oh, stained glass. There we go. I just want, yeah. Just some nice glass. Give it a nice view. Great. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Placing, I keep messing up the placing and Oh, it does work. That's so cool. And you can look out and see the little town there. There, now it's kind of like even. So, <laughs> I'm moving at a snail's pace. Okay, that's kind of easier. Doing it from above might have some merits. Oh, now I'm way too high up. Oh, I've gone too far. That's okay, I'll make a side portion. A little oh. place it. Like this and okay. Then I can make a little garden over here or something. That'd be sweet. And I have a door there. I do have the the picture in mind. Whether or not it comes together flawlessly is another problem that I can deal with later. I want to have more glass there, have another window here. I'm feeling like I'll also have to have the tops done to make a window. Just because that's been a common theme in a lot of games. Nope. Like the area above the window already made. Yeah. I'm gonna put a door here. Nope. And. Come on. Nope, that's destroy. I keep. Forgetting which is which. Oh my god. Do, 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 do. 
and a little side room. Okay, so back to this. My own inventory, please. And doors. I, I know there's nicer ways to do things than just like squared. Oh, that's gonna bother me. <sighs> nope. Oh. <laughs> gonna be an endless cycle of me just correcting myself every time I do something wrong. That's good. That's spaced evenly. Oh no, that doesn't look good though. There we go. That it can deal with it. Oh, a cactus. Um, I want a fence. I'm also gonna replace this area with like also stone stone because I want it to be like wait could I just replace it by clicking on it without needing to delete it all or no probably I have to delete it I'm enjoying this a lot though Okay, so back in here, I'm trying to find um, a fence. Stay there. Okay, fence is in here, I think. Mm. My throat's so dry. Oh, scaffolding? I guess that's how you like, climb. You know what, I'm just gonna move a lot of these things out of my main inventory so I can collect things as I go, which would be a good idea. Let's see. A shroom light. Watching <laughs> game. Stone. I bet there's- oh, lanterns. I do want some lanterns. I'm gonna place them around. Um, armor stand, no. I do want a bed. Let's go with something different. Uh, jungle sign, okay. So there's different- oh, and the coral too. I, I wonder if this glows, like, above land or if it needs water or if there's something else that's making it glow i don't know i'm still looking for the fence though Is this the fence fence birch yep oak fence is okay ladders Ooh, i do want some ladder i'll make a top part of the, the house do some birch um and some cactus because why not oh and you can make flowers is there like flower pots i know there is i just don't know i know you can make them but i don't know if you have to make them or if you can find it it's gonna be so pretty in here oh skeleton skull oh and there's candles too do, 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 do. Oh, there's so much stuff to look through. I don't even know why I, br I, I took out stairs. Doesn't make much sense. Saved. Oh, I get it. So you can generate it as you click it. That's smart. Oh, and those are to make <gasps> animals. A bucket of axolotl. Food, tools. Oh, okay. Enough, enough of that. 
There we go. Nope. <laughs> Was I using this? Uh, there we go. It's gonna be the bane of my existence. Is there like gates too? Nope. Yes, okay, so I can build. using the floating mode. I'm wondering, like I'm just gonna finish off with a roof and like the items that I picked up, but so far I've only found like a mountain-ish biome, the forest biome, and like uh, whatever this is, desert, and I guess this rocky stuff. But there must be different type. Like I don't think this is the end of it. Or, uh, end of this world. Because like as though, even though I'm trying to talk and pay attention to what I'm doing at the same time, not working out so well. At the same time, oh as well. Am I burning out? Okay. Yeah, I'll just finish this house, then we'll move on. I think I'm getting distracted, too distracted. Ah! And I don't really have... Well, I could talk about what I plan to play. Like, I have... Okay. It's a little unknown fact. Is that literally every single one of my friends is a gamer, but me. And by gamer, I mean they each have, like, either... M like multiple consoles and like a whole PC set up for themselves. Some of them are even Twitch streamers, uh, which I will not be mentioning because that's up to them if they want any involvement. And I'm just trying to stick to what I'm doing right now as well on my own. And maybe eventually I'll get together, uh, but that's very far in the future. So seeing as they all have their own setups and I did not, well, besides establishing one and like building one, which I have done, um, I didn't have any games really. Like I had, so I've shared a few street Steam libraries. Um, I bought Minecraft, of course. Um, I bought GTA or No Pixel. What else? I bought. What is it? Friday the 13th, I bought Dead by Daylight, some games I want to play, uh, okay, I'm getting the hang of this a bit better now. Nope. Um, bought like Among Us and some other group things, anyway I have like I think there's over around 500 games right now that's on my Steam library and I have picked out around 110 or something of them that I want to play like for sure sure it's just like a definite a definite for sure and I don't know eh, I keep mumbling I don't know how much like, I have to check still to see how well my computer can run, like, bigger games. Because right now I have this server running on max 2 gigs of memory. Maybe I need to up that. 
or lower that. I'll check. I'll look into that. But it's doing okay so far. Why do I do that? Okay. Um. Yeah, that's a nice little area. Yeah, I have a ton of games I want to play. Something. Oh, I can place multiple. That's cool. Come on. How do I place the lanterns? Oh, do they have to be on the ground? Do I have to get tables? Is there furniture? There must be. Like I saw- no. Do I have to build it? I think I have to build it. Right? Oh yeah, no, I have a- I keep getting distracted. I have a ton of games that I've been wanting to play. Things that I've loaded up that I've never played or even heard of. Like, Death Store was one of them. It was- I was told that it was pretty good, but again, um, probably a bit too hard for me. Having never done it before. So I moved on to Minecraft, that's why I'm here. Um, cut sandstone. Let's do this. And I think this is more my level, at least to begin with. I don't really like that. Can I use like... There isn't any furniture or anything like that. I guess you just make it, right? A table. A bee nest. That's what that was. A oh, hornet's nest. Oh. Trap doors. That'll be interesting. That's the, the train stuff, I'm guessing everything anyway yeah i have a ton of games i don't know what i'm gonna stick to like i have another stream set up for monday but if i'm bored i might just stream again like off my schedule and whoever pops in pops in and there must be a way to have the lanterns on like a post um, just to build or something, like grind away and get used to it, because that's kind of what I'm doing now, but... And rod, old torch, ooh, I'll just grab a bunch of torches. Um, kind of doing now, but I don't know how much... That's better. how much um, I'll get done now, because this is just me experimenting a little bit. I definitely want to actually start my build for... Because the whole point of this was that I made my own server. And can I put a flower pot there? No. And because of that... Oh no. I did it. Okay. Um, so I started my own server and I completely forgot where I was. But anyway, lots of games to play. I built a little house as you can see. I don't know if I want to save here, just leave off from where I was next. I'm definitely not gonna stay here, like this isn't the house that I want to build. I'm still in creator mode. I think all of my private servers have like enemies off at the moment, which is not hard to turn on or anything. That's kind of cute. Let's 
Um, it's not hard to turn on and off, so I can fix that at another time. And play a bit of the world. So I, besides building, there's definitely the point of like getting through the game, right? To the nether and just the edge. Nope. Like there's a purpose to the game as well. Whether or not it's over or not when you beat it. I'm coming back into the forest, maybe? There's a lot of desert here. But yeah, I kind of want to start in the jungle. No, I have to do forest. Like this one, I'm not seeing a ton of forest. I think my second one was more forest biome. I run back and sleep and then switch my server. I'll start I'll show off my last server because I have three right now. Um and I have to switch through them. I can't um just automatically, so it'll just take a few minutes, but done. Okay. Don't tell me I lost where I was already. So directionally challenged, like in normal life, that I was hoping it didn't like transfer over. Is this a new little- no, it's the same one I was at. I was hoping it didn't transfer over into game life. Game life. <laughs> He's asleep. And I'm going to switch to main webcam there we are okay i don't know i want to know One, server one. And we'll run it. I'm hoping to play more Minecraft, of course. Like, I want to explore more of the world and, like, that but there's a whole list of games maybe i can pull up my steam i'll just let this load i don't want to get laggy so with this uh stream i think i'll make some tiktoks and upload the whole vod on youtube um, I'll edit in a video too of that, of like the highlights. I don't know what the highlights would be in this, like the animals maybe. Um, hopefully I can get some traction. And if like anybody watching wants to play with me, cause that's really what I'm looking forward to. Um, in my discord, I have looking for collabs as like um, a subsection where you can pop in and um, say, hey, kind of, interested and i can contact you you can do that maybe find a game that we can join reading something or maybe i can just join like an anonymous lobby like just a random one or something like among us or my hands are cold i think i have my window open and it's there's snow outside not a good best idea I'll load in. Um. But yeah, there's lots to do. It's it's like Minecraft is so expansive. 
and there's so much to see and now that i have three servers it's like i want to play in all of them but it's like what do i do in each of them and not only that but because it has so many options i'm like a bit overwhelmed with what i could do because building is so unlimited that there we go. Ooh, I'm in the air. Let it load up a little bit, and then I'll show you guys. Okay. Come on. struggling a little just a little it's an old old computer maybe it'll get there there we go okay Okay, switch in. So that is my screen without the game capture. That's because it's invisible. Let's fix that. Open it up. Come on. There we go. And we're back. This is world technically number one because the last one was number zero because I didn't label them properly. So <laughs> um, this was the second world that I generated. Again, I spawned up in the air. This is me, like, this is my own self-generated one because the other one had generated naturally when I loaded up all the files and stuff. And that was that last one, but this was my first time actually loading my own. I think I used a seed, but I don't know which one I used. Probably written down somewhere. Do do do, go faster. A lot of open space, good. Not a ton of water that I can see, then there, again, there is some coming up. But this one's already a pretty good contender. I'm liking what I'm seeing in comparison to all the desert. Then again, I don't know if this one has desert either. Cause I was saving all the exploring for the stream. Ooh. Cow, what are you doing there? Oh, don't fly. Okay. So I definitely, oh, those are pretty. I definitely think, um, unfortunately, the snow and the freezing rain that we had last night ooh, has injured the quality of the stream so if you want to find a better quality if you're watching on twitch um if you weren't live watching this live you can definitely go over to my youtube and i'm, I'm gonna have the whole thing loaded up on my main channel you'll be able to go and see the whole VOD there with better quality and no lag just because I'm recording in a higher bitrate than I'm going to be streaming at so that there is no lag oh there's a little mountain town um because uh playing it and streaming at a lower bitrate was um 
in the hopes that there wouldn't be any lag. Well, hi. Let me change. There we go. Oh, this is so cute. I guess it's flower pots. That's a little busy corner. Oh, so this is like the the first build or world. Not the first world that we were at, but like the one that gener generated naturally, which was the last one that we were in. That had a lot of desert. The little mountain um, village. That's so pretty. Oh, what's this little farming area? I'm liking this one more and more just because of the amount of planes. Like, empty open space. That I can see building in would be a big benefit. I would just have to make a hub, like, a main area where I want to spawn from. And figure out where that is, because I haven't really explored this one at all. Like, I know the last one, I found that village on the mountain, hence that one there. Um, and the first world that we were on... I saw the netherite portal there, and we went through the whole thing there. It was a pretty big world. Um, but this one I haven't discovered anything besides mountains. Let's go backwards. Do -do. Is there more? I feel like I'm too high up that it's taking forever to load. There we go. What is that? Okay. Run! Oh. Just want more flat land. Not flat flat. I know you can generate like a super flat area. Not that interested in that. Hmm. So I told my lore, sort of, I told, I talked about my lore, what my character's kind of backstory is a little bit. Um, I went over how I'd never really played games before, I me mentioned the games that I have played. Uh, um, what else? Kind of listed some of the games that I want to play, besides Minecraft. I didn't list off a lot, to be honest, but I'm thinking these over open world kind of concept ones are a bit easier to start from. Because there's no real... You don't have to have a goal in mind. Oh, I'm entering forest. That's a big pot of lava. That's a weird corner. I feel like there's a theme. So this one's... wow. That one goes really deep. I wonder how far down you get until you hit the bottom where you just fall out. So I know that can happen. And you die I think, but I don't know where you would I guess you would generate back where your spawn point is, but what would happen with your things? Does it just disappear, I think? Probably. It's the... It's the threat of mining too far. <laughs> You're gonna fall at the bottom. I've gone past. Yeah. I like this one. Oh, look, another netherite portal. Oh, a chest. I don't really need to find these things because I'm in creator mode, but golden leggings 
Curse of Vanishing. What does that even mean? Doesn't look like a positive. Well, it's a. Uh, my stomach is growling. Um. That's three armor. I don't even know. I'll have to. Why is it in red though? Curse of Vanishing. A whole bunch of flint. I don't really need that. I don't want to fill up this inventory too. Because that's been a bad habit so far. I don't think I'm ready to go into the nether. Like, that's not. Wait, I'm gonna fall? Um. Now, all my games have like the auto save thing on, so I know I didn't save the other one, but it should have done it when it disconnected or before it disconnected. Um, let's spawn, set world, just so here, because the last one was in the air. Doesn't make a lot of sense. What is flying? Is it bee? And you know, I don't really mind this area. Kind of pretty. Got the rivers, got some mountains, it's got the cave, it's got some lava. But yeah, next, next time I play Minecraft, um, I'm hoping, instead of just looking around, because this is really just me trying to test out how to do this what kind of areas I'm going to be expecting, what kind of gr what things grow near other things. Um, like I can also open up open uh, multiplayer world and then build in that one and then load it as a private server as well at a later date. So I might try that, especially if I'm having lag issues and I can generate the server from not my computer but rather the minecraft servers maybe that will help and yeah cuz I think Mountain. Yeah, this one is super hilly. Which might make for more interesting builds. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's water. Feels like it keeps going and going and going. Oh, there's a lava thing. What's gonna happen to it when it goes into the water? Is this gonna keep going? not gonna make different blocks or anything. Interesting. And there's some pumpkins. Problem is, I'm having a problem with just like deciding decisions aren't my best and my best skill, for sure. But I'm having an issue deciding either using one of these worlds or generating a new one until I get one I like or finding a flat world or just changing it up. Like, I feel like exploring the whole thing is kind of in my downfall right now. Because what's the purpose other than looking at to see what's been generated? Um. 
Like I'm not, I haven't really done very much besides learn how to move and do a little bit of building. So, if that's the case, maybe I will explore? Where's that lava even coming from? I do like the waterfalls. Oh, there's a whole bunch of coal there. If I go far down, how far is too far until my character gets stuck and I freak out? Ooh. Right, I have no weapons. Right, I can just take some. Whatever. <laughs> I know netherite's just a bit, that's cheating just a bit, but I am not going to beat this game anytime soon, so uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to be in possession of netherite on my own, like, skill. So, oh, I need, it is a bit dark, it is a bit too dark, come on, up, up. Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh no! No! That's what I wanted to do. Oh shoot. Oh, guys. Right now I'm just building up. I know you can't see it, but I almost got swallowed. I know I'm in creator mode that it wouldn't have actually killed me, but <laughs> you can even see it. Oops. Okay, I just want out. I just want out. I'm freaking out. Okay. At this point, I don't know which world I like better. They're also massive. I think I'm gonna generate like just a normal sized one, like a smaller one, just to see what it's like. Cause I still want a lot of space. Um, but it might be a bit much. Or maybe, like, I want to build one that I'm going to be using for, like, a long time. So maybe I do need a lot of space. I don't know. I've never done this before, so I don't really have the experience to be able to know if it's something I should plan for. Hydrate yourself. I feel like also I might be contributing to the leg by trying to load everything as I fly around it. If that's the case, maybe I should just run around a bit. Like, how else am I going to start building? Like, I don't want to build on a mountain, that's the thing, and this has all been mountain. I'm thinking... Like, that first world had a lot of water. That was its downfall. This one has way too many mountains. And... The last one we were in, which was the first world that was generated. Um, wasn't bad. Like, it had a lot of desert. But I feel like it had a lot of open plains. Like, this one has a lot of open plains too, but it's, again, on a mountain. Which I don't know if it's going to be an issue, because, like, you can always build down then, and then you're not going to hit. Or maybe they're all, like, tunnels under here. I don't know. 
I would have no idea. Hey, sheep. Oh, it does seem like they have tunnels down here. I'm like, where would I even start? Because... I want to build a hub, but what kind of hub should it be? There's so many decisions. This is like an endless hole for me. How the hell am I going to figure this out? Hi, moon. Are you the sun? You're the moon. <laughs> Yeah, it's just mountain on mountain on mountain. Run. Okay, so this is ground level, I'm assuming, because there's water. Maybe not. Some tall trees. Just me and my netherite. <laughs> yes, I have it. Yes, I got it. Did I get it fair? No? Do I have it? Yes. Maybe I'll use it for building. Probably. Makes more sense. I feel like part of the fun, though, too, is like being able to use the materials that you find and using that on your build. And that's probably the purpose of like creator mode, but if I have ideas, like my whole like story idea, I'll definitely, I'm definitely gonna do that in creator mode. Um, screw trying to find all the material for that. Um, but I think I'm gonna look for inspiration somewhere. Maybe I'll look at like medieval town pictures or something. <laughs> I'm still on a mountain, or maybe that's underneath. Have we been here before? How long is this nighttime? I should just carry a bed around with me. Come on, load it up. Do, do, do. I just want to find where I was before. I know I, th I think I set a spawn point. But that was the other world. Oh no. Did I go in a circle? I don't even know. Okay, so at this point, we've toured all three. This one is way too much. Way too much. I think. Oh, hello. Oh, the flowers are so pretty, though. Hello? What is this? Writing desk? Oh, I see what they've been using as furniture, so it's the wood blocks. How do I go into town? There we go. Ah, <gasps> kitty. I have no salmon or fish for you. Hello, sir. Wake up. Hi. <laughs> I love the noises they make. You two up. Get up. Wake up. I'm waking you guys up. This is the town that I was in. That I found at that mountainside. No, because this is on top of a mountain. Maybe it is. I don't know. Wait. No, the last one had a hole. Right. 
only sleep at night. Who made that a rule? Like, I definitely sleep during the day. Oh, hi. I have none of that. I don't want to trade with you either. Move out of the way. Ooh. Stone cutter. That's cool. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Nobody's in there. I'm not gonna collect. I'm not gonna collect. I don't need to. Maybe. I I I will a little bit. I'm weak. Hi. Are you a baby? <gasps> You're so tiny. Hello. Can I pet you? No, I can't do anything. We can just kill you for food. But you're so small, it wouldn't be worth it. Fly. I wanna... No! I didn't mean to do that. Where did you... Uh. I see what they've done with the roofing. Roofing. Did I say that weird? Roofing. What is that? Is that like a church? Must be. Yep. Yeah. No? Dude. Thank you. Was I already in here? Or they just have blacksmiths everywhere. I'm assuming that's a blacksmith. Nope, this is the house I woke up that guy. This area is really cute. But now I can't sleep, so... What's in here? Is it like a... <laughs> I was gonna say a bed, bath, and beyond, but I meant like a... Um... B and B kind of thing. A book? A book about what? Oh, I'm so cold. I might have to really... That's probably not the smartest thing. Leave my window open. And like, what temperature is it? Only three degrees. No, it's definitely colder than that. It's... One degree outside. Or negative one. And it's snowing. Not my smartest moment. What I do is. Oh, it's freezing. bad it's just with the computer here in like this room everything gets heated up so fast okay so i can see a bit farther now everything gets heated up so fast that i had to cool off a bit and unfortunately that meant two hours of freezing temperatures. Can I talk to you? <gasps> Look what I found. There's no more around. But I guess that's the point of the whole mining. There's 
a dude hanging out really close. All I just hear is the sighs surrounding me. Close the door on me. Oh, he is the mason. Clay ball. I don't want a clay ball. Leave me alone, sir. Good day. Nope. Oh, I want to find more villages. I just want to... I just want to build. This place is way too hilly for me. I think that's... I think I'm going to end it, though. Like, I'm coming up onto the four hour mark. Four hours? Three hours? Four hours? However long I have been here. And I really want to start building, but I can't decide which place to do it at. And at this point, I'm just kind of like not doing anything. And their house is like much better than what I built. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do a bit of snooping. Or maybe. No. I was gonna say maybe I could build something here to join their village. Like another little house for them. But I also don't want to do that. I kind of hate that it's all on mountains. Which place was the flattest? What world? It was either the first one that we played in or the second one we checked out which was the first generated world uh, the first and the second and this has been this was the, the first and the third generated world this was the second one when will you be flat The Minecraft music finally playing. There we go. Ah. Another hole. Okay. So I think I had a good thing going when I was starting off with nothing and going from there. Survival mode, which makes sense. The jungle biome was too much water. The last one a lot of sand that wasn't that bad and it wasn't too hilly this one is way too hilly so i think i'll stick to or maybe i'll generate a few more check them out on my own time and then come back with like an area i picked out to build in. i think that's a good place to return to then i can go over a bit more of a story and go into the details of what happened Maybe I'll have some built, maybe not, but I'll record it all and eventually put them in YouTube videos, so definitely go check that out. What is down there? But until then, until all that's sorted out, is this ground level? This. Finally? Ugh. Mountain. Why? There's a hole there. I don't know what I'm going to find. 
Way too dark for me to hide. Hi, horses. There's a spotted one. Wait, that one has... I have not found any dogs yet. Wait, I have an apple. Get away from me, sir. Can I ride you? Will you be my friend? How do I get on them? Can I not ride them? Are they wild? Am I just wasting all my apples? Are they not eating them? Eat it. I ate it. Why can't you? Or do I have to throw it? I don't know. How do I? Why did I do that? I can't remember how to throw things. Q. Hey, horsey. Eat that. It's kind of under you, but are you eating it? Nope. Dude, dude, dude. Am I just shaking my fist at it? Is that all I'm doing right now? Eat the food. I dare you. Of course he dare you. <laughs> Just want to ride a horse. Hey you, take it. Take it, it's so close. My pet claiming skills must... Maybe I can't do it because I'm in creative mode. I think that's what it is. Up, up. Oh, that's a batch of lava right there. Anyway, I was going this way. Yeah, this world was way too hilly for me. I kind of want to build an epicenter first and then build out from there and then I'm going to find forest area to oh did I find another village or just a house it's another village and again I like how many houses are or villages oh that's a big one I like how many villages are generated in this one hey dreams Hello world, as the robot says. Aww. Aww. Yes, yes. Oh, he's glowing. Why are you glowing, sir? You don't need to get so close to my face. Hello? Oh, they're talking. Sorry. My bad. They were having a conversation. Hello? Anyone here? I feel like there's a theme. Or have I already been here? Oh, look, a netherite portal right on the cusp of the village. I actually really like this place. It's flatland. Only the majority of the... I think I'm looking more for like a plains, like jungle seed and forest seed than anything. That's really what I want. Biome, I mean. My horsies. 
Cut that. I think I'm going to end it there. Let me disconnect. There we are. So I hope it wasn't too laggy overall, but my first time in Minecraft really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to again coming back with an actual place or if anything some buildings that I've dedicated hours to set up and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday um, each day at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, And I'll be back on Monday, unless I get really desperate, I do a, I'll do a, just a random stream on the weekend. But otherwise I'll probably be editing and trying to make something of my rambling, even though there's nothing too interesting about it. Until then. <laughs>